five minutes ago, I did not look like this. So let's talk about the easiest way to trim your beard and look great. That this is the before. Okay, so before we get started, just you know, I have two tools. I have the Philips One Blade. This is what I'm gonna be using on areas like my skin, uh, on my cheek and my neck to get a closer shave. And I also have this one. This one's also from Philips. This one has a full guard set. So this I'm gonna be using on the actual like length of the beard. If you don't have both, you can totally travel with one of these. It'll get a lot of everything. Um, but I do prefer the option of a closer shave. This is non-sponsored, but Philips did gift me this in the past and I absolutely love it. So this is one of my favorite tools to use um, whether I'm traveling or not. I uh, highly recommend one of the one blades. I, I really do need this shave, so morning. Okay, so first things first, we are a three-dimensional being. So what I mean by that is your beard can look great from one side, but as soon as you turn, you have more shapes to deal with. So I'm gonna walk you through how I trim my beard and get the perfect cut. Okay, first things first, I do like to start with the Phyllis blade or a tighter shave to clean up my cheek and my neck. There's a lot of growth here and here that can distract from the ultimate shape I want. So if I start cleaning up, I at least have nicer lines to work within. Okay, neck is clean and the cheeks are clean. You can already tell where now my neck is going and where the beard actually starts. So I do like cleaning this up first. You can use whatever tools you want to do that, whether it's like a, like a blade, whatever, it all works the same. Take a brush or comb of any kind, whatever works for your hair. For me, I do really like a boar bristle and just comb your beard down to the best of your ability. Now that I'm combed, you can see a few things. So one, this little piece, this is where it gets swoopy. So we'll make sure I take care of that. This part, I'm a little puffy here with this extra hair and my mustache is long. So those are the main points of the trim and then tapering it all together. But for me, I like my mustache to go right at my lip line and I like to cut it off here. This is where I end it to keep it avoiding growing too long or looking overpowering and then right at the lip line. Okay, keeping my face forward, I'm going to use this blade with no guard, so it's just raw dog in it, which can be a little intimidating. Um, but what I'm going to do here, I'm going to start here and separate the beard from the hairline and then anything below this cut, I'm going to taper down, tail on both sides. Looking forward, I can see these pieces are looking a little fluffy. My goal of my beard is straight at the chin, angled on the sides, and tapered straight down from the side of my face. So to achieve that, I'm gonna make sure I don't touch anything up here right now, because that's something I'm gonna have to tackle when I turn sideways. So right now we're only working on this shape. So let's start on the chin. Okay, so now this line is proper, but if I turn down, you can see where it's still lots of hair. So for this cut, we're going to tilt down, look at yourself in the mirror, and you're gonna cut those same shapes. So here, here, and straight down. Okay, this is already looking so much better, which is great. And now the next part is just tapering in these sides. Okay, so for this part, I am using a guard. This is my smallest guard. This jawline right here, I'm going to leave alone and I'm only cutting above it because I want it to fade from this length into skin. Okay. 
Now, because I cut at such an angle up here, this is gonna be my longest piece and kind of the most delicate to tackle, so I do this last. We did it. Here's how I give myself the perfect beard trim every time. Here's how I give myself the perfect beard trim every time. And this is the after. So if you like this video, let me know if you want more. Unfortunately, I can't tell you how to grow a beard, but I can do a lot more grooming tips if you like. So check it out, subscribe. See you next time. That's a nice cut.